The secret to learning Spanish. Here's how. Look, I've been helping people learn Spanish for over 10 years. All right. I have a bachelor's degree in Spanish and I was also a Spanish interpreter and translator. Now, I want to tell you the one thing that you can do right now to learn Spanish better in the next 30 days. I guarantee if you do this, you will improve. All right. The key is consumption through comprehensible input. What exactly is comprehensible input? It's Spanish language content that you can understand about 80% of. Now, this 80-20 rule is crucial because if you understand less than that, you're going to get frustrated. You're not going to know any of the words. If you understand everything, it's going to be too easy. You're not challenging yourself. So that's why it's important to stick to this 80-20 rule. Now, a very important point is don't just listen to Spanish content if you can't understand any of it. That's not helpful at all. If it's complete gibberish to, to you, then your brain can't process it effectively. You need a foundation to build on. Like imagine trying to solve a complex math problem without knowing basic arithmetic. It's the same with learning Spanish. You need some understanding of the words, of the phrases to make progress. That's why comprehensible input is so powerful because it gives you that necessary foundation while still pushing you to learn more and have fun learning. So now the next question is, how do you make content comprehensible? First thing is to start with materials that are slightly above your current level. And then you use subtitles, translations, or context clues to fill in the gaps and gradually increase difficulty as you improve. Why does this work? Well, it's how we naturally learn languages. Think about how children learn their native tongue, right? They're constantly surrounded by language input, picking up words and phrases from um, parents, peers, everybody. Adults, we can do the same, but we have an added advantage. We can use translations and other tools to make input comprehensible faster. So for example, like let's say you're watching your favorite show, um, Spanish language show on Netflix, right? You start with the subtitles in Spanish so you can see the words as you hear them. This helps you connect the spoken and written forms of Spanish. And honestly, you're probably going to surprise yourself by how much you recognize the words that you just didn't catch by ear, but by reading them, you did catch it. Now, here's another tip, all right? If the content feels too advanced, break it into manageable chunks. So watch the first three to five minutes a few times, alternating between Spanish and English subtitles. Once you understand what's happening, try watching that segment without subtitles. All right, now this method helps you gradually build comprehension and confidence. So another key, another tip, as you go, jot down the words and the phrases that you don't know and then review them daily. All right, this active engagement will significantly boost your Spanish learning. Do this for at least 30 minutes a day, every day for the next 30 days, you'll be amazed at how much your Spanish improves. Because remember, you're training your brain to recognize patterns, sounds, and structures in Spanish. So don't worry if you don't understand everything immediately. Remember the 80-20 rule and go slow. Keep at it and your Spanish knowledge, your ability is going to come guaranteed. So look, immerse yourself through as much comprehensible input in Spanish as you can. Videos, podcasts, music, everything. Your brain will thank you. And your Spanish, you're going to level it up. Buena suerte.